and then we're in our fifth year. We throw a party every year, a dance party, celebrate the art, the artists, and to emphasize on creativity that goes beyond painting walls. So, yeah, so this is the fifth year of Murals in the Market, which is an international mural festival. It's the only one that happens in the city, and it's produced by us, One Time Run, in partnership with Easter Market Corporation. And so over the past five years, we've done like a several hundred murals all over this district. So this art is really for all people not for one specific type of person that comes to Eastern Market. You know, Eastern Market, for many of us, many Detroiters, has a real a sense of ownership, like it's my Eastern Market. And then Murals in the Market each year puts up another 30 or 40 murals. So now Eastern Market has another layer that makes it uniquely interesting. So that's like my favorite part is like, every year we add more murals, and then the reaction that we get from the public is like overwhelmingly positive, you know? Like you see people that you would never expect to be here with their cameras out, with their kids, you know, bringing their neighbor, saying, hey, this is my Easter market, this is our public art. My artwork is portrait style, you know, and also conceptual, it's kind of all over the place as well. Right now I'm tending to focus on uh, changing the narrative of how uh, black people, young black people are looked at in Detroit anywhere in the world, basically. So the hands represent a bird. It's like early bird catches the worm, right? So the first person to get up is the one that catches the worm. You get up early, you get ready, you be prepared for the day. Well, I look at it as a huge platform to you know, showcase my talent and you know, it's like a billboard. So when people are in this area, you know, it's tens of thousands of people come down here in Eastern Market. So you know, to be able to have a wall starting off, you know, my first time you know, being in murals in the market, I'm, I'm having a great time, I'm having a blast, so. I've been drawing and doing art my whole life. Um, I'm self-taught. I've been painting for about the last three or four years now. I've been uh, focusing my practice into painting. First of all, we don't have a lot of portraiture that depicts black people as is, or the, the pool is very narrow. Thank God that there's a lot of people out here right now in the art scene that are picking up on that and giving beautiful portraits of marginalized people. As far as me and black men, that I, I like to, take subjects uh, off the street that might seem a bit scary to the public or that people already assume stereotypes about um, and change that perception of them and show them what I see, which is the beauty. My experience has actually been fantastic. They've taken care of us the entire time um, as far as the company goes. And also just people walking by, uh, being able to see the murals and be exposed to the art and being able to talk to people and get feedback on what I'm doing, that's been the, the best part of this, hanging out, you know, closing out the summer with this, so it's been cool. <laughs> I wouldn't rather be from any other place but from Detroit. I love the culture here. You know, I love the neighborhoods here. I love everything I see here. I see it as an element of beauty, so I'm proud to be from Detroit. Um, and I hope that when I go on my travels around the world, taking art everywhere, I'm a good representation of the city. I, I've been working with One X Run for like uh, a little bit now, uh, just helping out with uh, shipping and stuff. And um, I, last year I helped as a wall manager and I had a really good time. I was able to do a wall. This year I was invited back and it's been great and I'm pretty thankful for uh, everyone at One X Run for letting me be able to paint something at this size because this is my first time something at this size. So I've been drawing ever since I can remember, basically. And um, I was born in Chihuahua, Mexico and came when I was five. And so I feel like I, I've always been intrigued and the stories of old Mexico uh, have always been like super interesting to me. And like, for example, this is kind of like a deity of creation. So she's like taking this masa, this dough of men and putting a little bit of good corn, a little bit of bad corn in the mixture and then creating tortillas out of them. What, what brought me to Murals in the Market was Jesse and Rula. Um, 
Tony Hooligan did a mural last year on Alfred. So I had reached out to them and I told them like the ideal I wanted to do, we pacing at a large scale. So they basically just said, you know, send in your ideal and I did and it went from there. So basically my piece was about showing a different spectrum of African-Americans. Uh, with my work is I always try to highlight black black people in general to the biggest and largest scale. So what I did was I went from light to dark or even people can look at it dark from light and then even looking at the texture of hairs of like different African-Americans, different ways and forms we come in. So that's the one thing about my piece. And then also I'm gonna be like putting Hooligan, it's not finished yet, but Hooligan is gonna go at the top and a poem by uh, Theresa the Songbird. She did a poem called You So Black and it's gonna be painted on the side and it's basically uh, black is me, black is you. Black ain't something we get to choose, but something we get to cherish. Um, actually, we visited Easton Market earlier today and then we kind of toured the city, went down to the waterfront and came back and was like, oh, we didn't see all that before. Yeah, I think we just and saw the cars yeah, in the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then once we saw, we said, let's go venture out and see yeah. what's going on. So yeah, yeah. here we are. Um, I think for me, the one word is proud. I, I, we both travel all over the world. And I swear to you not, wherever we go, like me and my husband, we always hear a Motown song. Like yeah. we will be in Amsterdam yeah. or Barcelona and you'll hear a Motown song. So for me, it's a sense of pride, knowing that there are a lot of um, diamonds and talents here and now that there's a showcase almost like a spotlight on Detroit the rest of the world gets to see how beautiful we are here in Detroit we're yeah. gems there's a lot of gems here